Last week on Dancing with the Stars, Carol Baskin was eliminated from the competition. The Lion King Saba couldn't save the Tiger King alum from leaving the show, Nicole. This week we enter week four already with a brand new episode tonight on City TV. That's where we bring in our super stan, Dancing with the Stars fan, Nicole Servinas, to tell us what to expect. Plus, you chatted with Carol Baskin herself. I did. So I chatted with her on Friday and we had a long combo, D. It was about like 10 minutes that I had with her. And and let me tell you, it was a completely different conversation than when we had prior to her starting with Dancing with the Stars. She was super open and um, very honest and forthcoming. And um, she was a real harsh critic of herself, to be honest. I kind of felt bad okay. because, I mean, well, we've, we've been honest about her dancing, which wasn't very strong. Um, she herself says, she was terrible and uh, and that she probably um, won't do it again. <laughs> well, they put her in every lion and cat related theme outfit that they yeah. could think of. I don't know how many more they had in them anyway, Nick. <laughs> I know, seriously, I, believe me, they were they were ready to go with it. And she was saying, um, she told me how much she loves like the costuming, the makeup. Um, she said the team was really excellent and kind of making all of her cat dreams come true. <laughs> <laughs> now, she was hoping that this would win over people in terms of, you know, where they feel she lands in their hearts. I'm not sure if that happened, but I can't wait to see some of your interview. Yeah, so she actually was speaking about how people had kind of, or she had hoped anyway, that her showing a more vulnerable side um, maybe would get people to think of her in a different way. So, um, but take a listen to this. Yeah. I can't wait to get back home to my family and to the cats, but I loved my experience on Dancing with the Stars. What would you say was the most valuable thing that you gained from this experience? I think it was humbling because I've always believed that I could accomplish anything that I set my mind out to do. And I really thought I could do this all the way to the end. And boy, was I shocked. <laughs> It was much more strenuous than what I had anticipated. And I found that I just, my feet just could not do the amount of tippy toeing that it needed to do <laughs> to be bouncy in that samba. Those costume designers did an excellent job of um, keeping up with all of your taste, I would say. The only thing that I ask as an animal activist is that they not use any fur, feathers, or leathers. And I said, aside from that, you guys can just go wild. And they said they have never enjoyed making costumes as much as they did for me because I was just <laughs> open to anything that they came up with. You were very, really vulnerable and, and opened up about how you had received a lot of online um, people uh, saying hurtful things and, and worried about your family. You get a different response out of people. Whenever they would see the Big Cat Rescue logo or they would mention Big Cat Rescue, they'd immediately get back all of this hateful stuff that people believe from Tiger King. And now they're saying, you know, I, I wonder if Tiger King was really accurate because that doesn't seem like the same person. And so I think that it's been helpful in making people think twice about what they were spoon fed in Tiger King. I've never cared about what people thought about me. I only saw this as a way of getting the message out there about the cats. And Dancing with the Stars was very open to me getting that message out. Are you going to continue to watch Dancing with the Stars now? You know, I never watched it before, but I think I will watch it now just because I've come to know all of the people there. Who are you rooting for? <laughs> I'm rooting for Nelly, but I think it's going to be a yeah. toss up between Nelly and Sky because Sky really, you know, she's young and she's got that energy and she's got a huge following. Oh, Nicole, thank goodness this was you. I would have been like, yeah, enough of that. What happened to your ex-husband? What? It's like elephant in the room. Forget the tigers. Forget the so many questions. And it appears as though Carol Baskin did not have nine lives on Dancing with the Stars. So let's talk about what's going to happen tonight, Nick. Do you have any inside scoop? No, she... Um, what I do know is that everyone's going to be dancing with different genres to different music. And get this, D. Our fave, one of our faves, AJ McLean, yeah. is going to be hitting up some BSB old school tunes. Guess yes. what song it is? It, uh, you have any guesses? It can't be Backstreet's Back because that's a Halloween theme, which I think they're going to save for a few weeks. Uh huh. Uh, help me. What is it, Nick? I, all I can hear is this music. It's Aladdin. That makes you larger than life. Woo! Oh, that's going to be yeah. good. <laughs> By the way, it's do you, be so good. Nicole, I don't know if you know this, but coming up at 9:10 on BT Canada, we have Alfonso Ribeiro of Fresh Prince of Bel Air fame. He won. He won Dancing with he the did. Stars in 2016, I think. Okay? 
He did. He was amazing. He did, and he didn't start off that way. He got really good throughout the season. Oh, really? Because he's yeah. always had like a strong dance background. If you look at all the shows, he's always infused dancing within it. So you think he would have been awesome right out of the gate? But he wasn't the best. No, he wasn't the best. I'll tell you that. He like came out of the fire. <laughs> Honestly, in and around this time, like week four is, a, is like a turning point where they've had a lot of background now. They've done a couple of different styles of dance. Yeah. They've been in training for for weeks now and days and hours. And so um, so there's a lot of improvement. That Nick we're Alfonso's about to see. listening to this right now and he's very upset with you saying that. No, I'm kidding. He's not on the line. Can you imagine? Nicole thought you weren't strong out of the gate, Alfonso. Discuss. <laughs> it's true, though. It keeps it exciting. Don't do that to me. I'm no, I'm sorry. That was terrible. No, you're fine. You're fine, Nick, okay? Stay cool, all you cats and kittens. Okay, that's it for Carol Baskin. Cannot wait to see what happens tonight. You'll recap tomorrow, Nick. <laughs> Poor Nick. Yeah. We'll be back Thanks, with more BTR after this. <laughs> that's it. I'm out.